Hello everybody, it is Monday, whatever it is of June, I have no idea what the date is. Um, however, I haven't done any filming today, it's actually evening, it's bedtime, it is the actual the, um, 24th. And the main reason is because poor old Jennifer's a bit sick. She was ill last night, so she's been off school, so all we've been doing today is sitting on the sofa. I popped to see mum if she's fine, I've coloured loads of pictures. Poor Jennifer, not well are you? So, I, obviously we didn't get to bed till, well, we went to bed, but we didn't get to sleep till really late because she was really sick. So not a lot happened today. So, we'll see how she is tomorrow. She can't go back to school till Wednesday. Uh, so, we'll have a nice lie in tomorrow. And, uh, do loads more colouring. I don't think you can hear a chat and she's just got her iPad or tablet on. So, um, I did read a few chapters of War and Peace. I might start reading something in a minute. Yeah, probably. And I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. It's Tuesday the 25th of June and I'm sitting here with Jennifer, who's still not well. And she's watching Lanky Box on YouTube, which is fine. They annoy, they get annoying but after a while, but they are quite funny. Don't have to tell I said that though. You know what I mean? Justin is very silly. Justin is very, very silly, yes. Um, so I'm having another day of colouring, and I am colouring in um, Sashi and Sash Diva, 50 Gorgeous Patterns Colour by Number. And this one, I'm doing my glitter gel pens, simply because there's not that many colours on it, so you can actually do that. So I'll pop down and check on my mum later. She's got plenty of food, so she's alright, I'll just see her at tea time. And then tomorrow, hopefully Jennifer will be back to school tomorrow, because she's fine. They have to have 48 hours with no sick at all, without being sick or anything. So she was sick on Sunday night, so that's tomorrow. So fingers crossed she can go back to school tomorrow, bless her. I'm just really tired, I'm exhausted. So, I've got a cup of tea. I'm playing a game on my phone and I'm going to sit in a colour for an hour before I go and do some washing, because there's always some of that to be done. Hi guys, it's actually Thursday. Um, yeah, if you wonder why I didn't do any posting yesterday, it's because I left my camera at my mum's in my handbag. I didn't need my bag, so I just didn't bother going back to, well, I was going to get it, but I thought, oh no, I've got my phone, I don't need it, I could get it today. So that's why there's nothing for Wednesday. So Thursday today, and again, not a lot's been happening, just sitting here, Jennifer's watching uh, gorgeous movies on YouTube. And I am um, watching bits of TikTok, colouring, reading. I read a book last night, I'll tell you about it later. Um, news out of Hollywood, news out of LA is that Marilyn's house is currently safe for the time being. It has been designated a historic cultural monument. That means that at the moment the owners can't do anything to it, they can't tear it down. Um, it's not 100% forever safe. It just means they've got so much time to make a decision on what to do with the property and that could be restoring it to its former glory in its current location or, there's Jennifer, um, taking it apart brick by brick and rebuilding it in another location. So my, my preference, I don't really mind. It would be great if they could put it somewhere else because um, then you could visit it and see inside it. But in order to do that they'd have to restore the interior to the way it was uh, when Marilyn lived there and that means getting like the original rep replica furniture. Um, Jennifer, as you can see as well, she's back at school today, so now I've got a bit more time. So I've got a few things I need to do before bed. And I will tell you all about the book I, I read that I've got, which is new, which is really, really good. And um, obviously it'll be my wrap up as well, but I know not everybody watches all them, so. Anyway, I've got to go, because the battery's dying, so I need to put it on charge. Jennifer says, oh, she's getting changed, but I said it's pointing at me, not at you. So I'm going to read a bit of Blindsided tonight by Karen Slaughter. I'm enjoying this one. This is the book I read yesterday, The Ashram Assassin by Andrew Cartmel. Um, this is the Paperback Sleuth series, which is a spin-off from the Final Detective series. Um, but this book made me smile because I was reading it last night and a character goes to the pub, pub in London and orders a pint of Tiny Rebel something, I can't remember what it's called, Shake, uh, oh. something Shake Fruzy, Fruit Shake Fruzy or something, and um, it just made me laugh because Tiny Rebel is a brewery and it's literally a two minute drive away from where I live on the Wern Industrial Estate in Rogerstone, so I have been there, um, 
for a meal and some food's a great place, lovely beers, beautiful food. Want to do the brewery tour at some point but uh, have to get rid of the little one for the day because it's only for over 18 so she's too small. Yeah. Aren't you? Too young? Another 12 years before you can go on the brewery tour. I don't know what that means. She is. feeling better now, aren't you? Yeah, you had your moving update school. Who's your, who's your new teacher? Miss Santos and Miss Gang. Who's your current teachers? What do you mean? Who, who do you have at year one? Miss Geller, man. And Miss Santos. And Miss Santos. So the teachers aren't changing. So you're happy, aren't you? Because you like them. And they're really nice teachers as well. Yeah, I had... I had... Um, one in year, um, in year one when, um, Miss Gem was in year one, then Miss Santos got to visit us. Yeah, she was a trainee. Yeah. But now they've and, taken her on permanently. And then she's in year, year two. two. So I can see her. Yeah. And they're really nice, aren't they, Miss Gillum and Mrs. Miss Santos? They're lovely. Mm -hmm. So Je Jennifer's very happy with the way that that's turned out, aren't, aren't you? So put your tongue away. Anyway, I'm going to put this uh, camera on charge because it's the uh, battery's dying. And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, she's jumping up and down, as you can see, on my bed. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Say goodnight. Oh, she's excited for my birthday anyway, aren't you? Very excited, apparently. Yeah, we'll talk about that another day. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's Friday morning. I'm really tired. Um, I'm going back to bed because I didn't sleep very well. He makes it hard to sleep. So just doing some stuff on my laptop. Um, as you can see from here, there's a shelf missing. Paul did find some pins and he has put them in. I just haven't got around to putting the shelf back in. I might try and do that this weekend. Although tomorrow is my birthday and we are going to the theatre to see uh, Il Pluto 2, I think I told you last week, with Jason Doerr in it. We are going. Uh, Dan is going to be looking after Jennifer, which is lovely. I'm just going to go down to my mum's now. She wants something from the shop, so I'm going to go and get that. I'm just going to pop on the weekly vlog from last week, because it's late, to edit together. And uh, after that, I'm going to go to mum's. Um, she wants something from the shop, go to the shop, get something for her, and then I'm going to go and have a cup of tea with my mum. Try and tidy up the kitchen a bit because it's a mess because she's been in there and she does stuff but she doesn't tidy it up because she's not very mobile so. Um, she found her glasses, she lost her glasses the other day but she's found them now which is a relief. And I'm just going to hurry up because I'm dying for the toilet. Okay, get the, get the uh, editing program up. There we go. And yeah, so um, hopefully tomorrow and that, yeah. I have got some books to put on there, so I really, really need to get them put that shelf up. It's a problem with Marilyn books. They keep, keep keep releasing them, and I keep buying them. Um, I'm not sure why, because I love them very much. And I will see you in a bit. So it's now Friday afternoon, and I've been to Mum's. As you can see, I'm a bit hot. It's actually really nice out. It's quite cool, but it's warm in the car. Um, Got myself a bottle of Lucas Aid and a packet of crisps just to have a snack, I'm a bit peckish. Jennifer's going to her friend's Alex's tomorrow uh, while we're at the theatre, so got some snacks for the girls to have or some treats. Just got to put it all in a bag ready, and there's pizzas for Dan to cook for her later. <sighs> Shattered I am, it's this weather. I mean, it's not hot, but it's not in the car, it makes me tired. Outside, it's just really nice. But, um, I've got to do my book journal. I haven't done anything for June in it. I mean, there's not as many as there was last month, which is good, so. I started putting together the uh, thumbnails to go in the journal. I think when I get home with Jen, I've just finished a colouring page. I've got another one I want to try and finish this month that I've started, but I'm gonna do the journal, I think, and try and get that up to date. I still might fin finish another page before the end of the month another book before the end of the month in fact it's very likely that I will I'm going to read for a bit now while I'm waiting for Jen so I will see you later when I show you uh, the journal and how it's coming on it is Saturday 29th June it's my birthday I am 50 I don't care so I had a lovely back massager from for my birthday some books a colouring book and a glass that says Andrea established 1974 <laughs> so 
so we're getting ready now to go to theatre this afternoon. Jennifer's going to see her friend, aren't you? Um, yeah. Right now? Yeah, in a minute. She's got lipstick on. <laughs> yes, I've got lipstick on. It's anyway, we can get going. I'll go get my shoes on, alright? Mm -hmm. right, well, we'll have a little kiss me. You'd get lipstick on, so I'm not going to. Here we are at the theatre. Press button. Looking forward to this. All right. When are you going to be in the bed before? Yeah. This lot smaller. All right. Nice. Where are we, Paul? At the theatre. Yay. Yeah. Definitely a theatre. There's a Cluedo board up there. All the theatres may be available. I love this theatre. Yeah, be careful of the music. Oh, stage door. Done this before. Ages before the train. Don't we? There's, this is the stage door. I've been in there. Waited in there before now. Sunday and we're in the hand post for lunch. Um, it was good yesterday. Jason Dewar didn't come out, I don't blame him. It was really, really hot. It must have been boiling on that stage yesterday. We did meet a few of the cast, which was nice. But we're going to have Sunday lunch now. Here's Jennifer. So yeah, it was nice. Food. Mm. Back from lunch now. And uh, yeah. Gosh, it was lovely. I'll tell you what, the ham post Sunday lunch is mwah, absolutely stunning. If you're in Newport area, ever in South Wales, and you want a good Sunday roast, go to the ham post, give them a ring. Just Google them, give them a ring, book a table, because it's so worth it. So nice, the food. So, I'm at home now. I've I had some presents from Sally that we had a Marilyn hoodie, a Marilyn sweatshirt, and two Marilyn t-shirts. I'm gonna do a Marilyn haul at some point because I've just got so much stuff lately, t-shirts and clothes mostly, um, for my TikTok. So I'll, I'll just film it on my phone and put it on here as well. So, but I'm sitting outside now. Uh, Jennifer and Paul, they've gone to the park. So I've got a bit of peace. I was feeling a bit down early. Today has been harder without my dad than yesterday was, which was my actual birthday. And part of it was, when we were in the pub, they were playing movie hits from the 80s. So things like Every Breath, um, um, I'm trying to think of like, like um, Groovy Kind of Love from Buster, uh, Women Me Flaming from Beaches, Electric Dreams, all these songs that I remember from the 80s and thinking about memory, thinking about my things I got up to with my mum and dad in the 80s and dad was only in his 40s then. You know, he so he was uh, 43 in 1984 when I was 10. Um, on my 10th birthday, he turned 44 on Christmas Eve. So today was harder, listening to those songs and thinking about him and everything. But it is what it is. Most of the time I'm fine and most of the time I'm thinking, I know he wants me to be happy. I know he wouldn't want me to be sad. I know he wants me to enjoy the rest of my life and give Jennifer a good life. And that's what I fully intend to do. And yesterday I couldn't have been happy. I was so happy at the theatre. It was amazing. I really loved it. It was so funny. It was so funny. I absolutely adored it. And But now I'm, I feel fine now. I've, I'm, you know, I'm just sitting out here. I've got a can of... Uh, pint can of strongbow dark fruits out of the fridge because I'm not going out mum's had her main meal she'll probably have something light that she can do herself for tea so um, I'm going to ring her later and she'll ring me tomorrow morning and then I'll be down every day and then Friday night Richard my brother is back he's coming over from New Zealand for a visit I think they're over for about a month and he'll be staying at mum's so it will give me a bit of a break in the sense that I'll still go down during the day because I like to be down there and um, making sure everything's okay and, and stuff. But I don't need to be there at tea time. Richard can sort, him, sort mum out for a bit, for a change. It'll just give me a little break uh, before we go on holiday and, and all that stuff. And it's going to be really nice. So, yeah, it's just a nice afternoon. So, sitting in the garden, going to do some colouring. I've got... Uh, uh, I'll just show you what I've got. I've got this picture that I'm doing. It's a colour by number pattern by Jade Summer 
and I'm using the fibre tip pens from Tesco which are only £4 for 50 pens. I've also got Tales from Atlantis by Hannah Carlson and my pencils from the works. I want to try those in that book and pencil case and stuff. My reading journal because as you can see I haven't done anything. I want to get it up to date so I can keep July up to date. This is uh, the list of books I got this month but I do have another six so I do need to add a little bit. Um, apparently Sally has another present for me at home that she forgot to bring. I don't know what it is. I'm not worried. I'm grateful for everything I've been given. I always am. I loved it. I had a great uh, yeah, two books and a colouring book, a glass and a massager from Paul and Jen and I loved them all and of course the theatre and today's lunch uh, and that from his mum. My mum's given me money, I had two books from Chris. I'm 50, I don't need a lot of stuff. If I want to buy a colouring book I will but at the moment I'm trying not to. There is a Deborah Muller one I want but I'm going to sit here, have a drink and do a bit of this. So I'll see, show you how I get on a bit later on.